So, okay, the first column that I am going to read is the state of mind you have coming into the month of January. Probably when you are watching this video. You have Six of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. And Three of Swords reversed. Okay, Three of Swords right away, upright, that talks about there was a heartache, there was a heartbreak, there was a situation that really hurt you deep to the core. But you are overcoming it with it being in the reversal. That means you are overcoming that situation. It's still there, you think about it, but it's not as painful and you are having a situation where you are helping people out around you and they are helping you out either emotionally, um, physically with their time, their energy, their effort. You, like you are helping them out maybe financially. There's a give and take. There's a goodwill between you and other people at this time. There has been somebody that has been sneaky around you, and it could be who, some whoever this person is that broke your heart. They were being sneaky. They were trying to get away with stuff. They might have stole something. They might have took something. It's unclear exactly as to what they did, what they took or they did to you, but it may come out in the future. It's it's unclear as to what it is, and you, you may not even be aware of it at this time. It may come out in the future, or you could know part of it, and that could be the heartache. In your home life, you have Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands reversed, and King of Swords. Swords are air signs. They are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. The air signs usually tend to talk a lot. They talk about their opinions, their, their beliefs, what is in their head, what they want to communicate. They want people to know their opinions on things. So there's an air sign around you that is very vocal. They are the king of swords. They are really good at getting their point across and saying it in a way that will not offend or hurt you or people around them. They are very good at using their opinions, their their thoughts, their communication to get what they need to succeed. And this is in your home life. You, in the past, had to defend your beliefs, your, your opinions, but you no longer have to. You don't have to be that rock that stands strong and tough and and defend yourself anymore. People know where you stand and you no longer have to continue to say and push your way. There is a lot of activity, a lot of possibly travel, a lot of texting, a lot of emailing, a lot of communication going on at this time in your home life. What your desires for the month are Knight of Swords reversed, Queen of Cups, and Seven of Pentacles. So your desire is Knight of Swords reversed. You had an idea that has been suppressed and you have a desire to start that idea, that, that thought, that opinion that you had. 
You have a desire to be who you truly are with the Queen of Cups. That is a, a water sign, which you are. And you want to be very complete. You want to be that nurturing, compassionate. You're really good with your family and your friends and helping them out with their needs also. You want to be that at this time. That's your desire. And also your desire is that you are slowly watching your investments and what you have put your efforts into. You're slowly watching them develop and bloom. And you have this desire for that to speed up. You have a desire for that to go faster. What do you expect to happen in the month? You have Knight of Wands reversed. The world reversed. And Three of Wands. You expect a fire sign around you, which is Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, to work out of the reversal, to be very childish, to be very helter-skelter, and to do this and then do that and not complete anything that they start, to be kind of childish and immature, to be here and then not be here, to be here and there. You expect that you, you wanted to take that next step in your life to make that progress, but you expect it not to happen at this time because there's some situation that is being delayed and it could be in regards to this fire sign and you expect it to be delayed. And you are watching your ships come in and you expect to be watching your ships throughout the month to see what it is like I said over here, to watch your investments slowly grow. That's what you're doing. You expect to be doing that all month. Is just watch what it has been you have been working on so hard actually materialize. Could be a relationship that you've been working on, although I don't see a lot of uh, love cards. I see this one that caused you pain. Or it could be a job, your work. Whatever it is you are working on to materialize. What is going to surprise you in the month of January is the lovers reversed, the king of wands reversed, and the five of pentacles reversed. So I believe that this lovers reversed is a choice that you had with the, a relationship. And it's probably this fire sign that has been working in the reversal back here and acting childish and immature. It's going to surprise you that they are still being that way. They are being that way more so because this is the king of wands reversed. They're not being as strategic and as... as um driven as they normally are. And this is the situation, the choice, the relationship that you are surprised that you don't have a choice on. You don't have a choice on that situation right now. With the Five of Pentacles reversed, you had some kind of financial situation, financial issue come up, but you are getting over that. And it could be in regards to this, this situation, this partnership, this friendship, this choice that you were trying to make. So there, it could be a relationship. Now I'm starting to see relationships. And in your soon-to-be future, by the end of the month, you have Nine of Pentacles reversed. The tower reversed. And the fool reversed. 
Okay, so the tower reversed is that situation where you had you had some kind of um let's go back to I believe it has to do with this fire sign that's reversed. And and it could be this this heartbreak, this situation. You are overcoming that that tower that that situation. By the end of January, you are starting to overcome that situation. You are starting, it's still there. You are rebuilding. You are possibly replacing it, whatever the situation was. Bringing something new and something that's better. It's always better when it's something new or it's built on a stronger foundation. But like I said with this, you were overcoming some kind of financial situation and it's preventing you from being financially independent at this time because that's what you want. You want to be financially independent and, and enjoying the fruits of your labor, being able to go to eat the finest food or to enjoy the finest clothes or vehicle or house or, or entertainment to have fun, to enjoy your hard labors. At this time, by the end of January, you are still overcoming this situation and you're not at that level where you can just splurge and go out and, and enjoy. Like I said with the fool, it's not time. You're delayed at that new direction you want to go. So... What it is, is being postponed at this time. In your long-term outcome, within a couple months, or possibly by the end of the year, you have Four of Cups reversed, Four of Swords, and Ace of Wands. Now, right off the bat, Ace of Wands is a very lucky card to get in your spread. So this is a really good way to end this reading. So in your long-term outcome, after all of this has gone through and all, all the turmoil and the lessons that you have learned and overcome, you are going to have a lot of luck. That's what this card represents, is that you're going to have a desire a spark, a passion that is going to be really good and fortuitous for you. Sometimes this is very, very erotic and very um, phallic in nature, just like the Ace of Swords. You're going to get that rest you need after all this work you put in. You're going to finally get that break and that rest you need. And you're going to see what is out there, what is being offered to you. You aren't going to have tunnel vision and be foc so focused on your life and, and your issues that you don't notice the fine things that are going around you, the, the smell of the fresh air, the beautiful clouds in the sky. You're going to notice what is being offered to you, the love that is being given to you.